I am sitting here right now with Keisha Combs and Tyler Burrow. Hello, ladies and gents. Or just ladies. ladies or just fine. ladies. Well, all three of us here are ladies. No, um, thank you guys so much for coming. Well, for you for coming to attend Hate the Hate. And for you, for your fourth nice time, time hosting a Hate the Hate event, what is what is Hate the Hate and what it mean, uh, what it's about means? Well, when I saw, um, when Tyler had forwarded me the invitation and I saw what the event was for, I felt, you know, the need to come out. Um, I think it's important that um, folks are aware of, I guess, the hatred that is out there. Um, and it's, so much hate. it's so much sad how much hate is out there. It's like, like when, and I always tell people like why I got so involved with this other than Tim being such a good friend of mine. It's like whether you're black, white, like Asian, gay, straight. It's like we all know what it's like to have these certain words thrown at us. Honestly, let me ask you someone. Uh, uh, let me ask you something. What would you have to say to someone that's watching this interview right now on the interwebs? What would you have to say to them that uh, the youth that's being bullied that might consider suicide as an option? What would you say to them? I would tell them, you know, um, understand that you are special. Um, you're no different from no one else. Um, I would have, just ignore that person. Be the bigger person. Don't let words, hateful words or actions, determine who you are or what you're going to do. Live your life. Listen to her. Live your life. Don't let those hateful words get in your path of being. Exactly. Tyler, what would you, uh, we've, we've done this before, but what would you say to those kids? that are watching. My whole thing is, you, you hear the words, it gets better. And I've said this with you before, it doesn't just get better. You you really have to, to work hard to make it better. You know, it's like, I when the whole It Gets Better campaign first came out, I was actually sort of angry. And I was like, it's not that simple. You know, for being a victim of bullying, and an insane, intense bullying that I went through, you know, it's it's, I, I've had to work really, really hard, and that's why hate the hate is such an important thing to me. Like, like he just said, it's like those words. I mean, words, they, they will affect you, and they, they, they'll stick to your mind, but they, you can't let them stick to your heart. And that's the most important thing. It's, and it's like, you know, we all, we all know what it's like to be made to feel like a piece of shit. And, but we also know what it's like with, with Keisha, Keisha with her son, you know, with me, with my mom, and with friends like you guys, we all know what it's like to feel amazing as well. And that's what you have to focus on. Well, you have to say something. Stop holding it in. Please find someone to talk to. Don't hold it inside. You have to speak up. That's the only way it's going to stop. If we all take a stand, we have to really all come together and just take a stand. I mean, you can't just be, like you say, you can't be the victim. Fight. Always, once the victim, always the victim. And that's what it comes down to. Find your guidance counselor, talk to your parents. If you can't talk to them, talk find to someone friends. to talk to, talk to your friends. There's help out there, trevorproject.com. It gets better. American Foundation of Suicide Prevention. There's no reason for you to take the talent that you have and let it go to waste. I'm Tim number 37. This is Keisha Combs. This is Tyler Burrow. Much love. Unite. Unite. Unite.